Alright, let's go over schedule again. We're currently en route to Caldic, where we will rendezvous with Group B. From there, we'll take the Transcontinental Railroad to Guerrilla Fortress of the Empire's eastern border. Guerrilla Fortress is one of the Imperial Army's largest strongholds. It's sometimes referred to as the wall that protects the nation from the threat of Calvert Republic. Bird is ridiculously gigantic, almost an icon of military excess. Also houses the two railroad guns, it has military exercise ground on the premises. That's from the time that we played uh, in the very beginning of the game, if you remember, where there were the railguns coming out and I guess somebody was firing them. Were those the weapons that Gwyn said he regretted constructing? Yeah, the two massive orbital cannons pointed toward the east uh, at, at Calvert. More specifically, they aimed the buffer zone between us and them, Crosbow State. That was pretty crazy, yeah. It's like you're looking at a mountain of iron. It's pretty overwhelming when I first saw them. Wait. You actually seen the railway guns in person? Yeah, Grams to Claire, Lecter and me and, uh, to see him this one time. These are the mightiest weapons brought by the hands of man since the Great Collapse. I want you to consider what it means that such weapons have been placed here. Well, something like that anyway. To consider what it means. It is fair for the dramatic, I'll give him that. Come to think of it, today is the day, isn't it? The day that the Chancellor is scheduled to part for crossbow with Prince Oliver. Gives the treat conference kinda of snuck up on us, huh? I think that's where Lecter's going too. I wanna go to Crossbell. It's supposed to be the really famous theater group there. They have a huge theme park, right? That's what I heard, though you'd probably know more about it than I do. Apparently, President Toa is going as part of the entourage to further her studies. Really? She never fails to impress. I heard she's been getting job offers from a bunch of different companies ready to hire her right after graduation. But she does merit the highest esteem people lavish of her. She's a proud of the academy. She really is. Everybody is going after Toa in particular. Especially after what she uh, showed off in Berea Hard, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Berea Hard that she showed off uh, her ability to strategically compose actions for people. Yeah, like the whole escape plan and everything. Pretty sure we'll be able to evacuate properly. All passengers is marking here in Celtic. Please exit the platform via the bridge. I repeat, do not approach the rope barriers on platform 1. The RMP police is here. Passengers within, wishing to travel on Transcontinental Railroad, please wait on platform 2. What's going on here? Well, this security feels kind of ominous. It seems the railway military police is guarding the opposite platform. Yeah, I wonder if... <laughs> well, isn't this quite the coincidence? Captain Claire! <laughs> it's Claire! Did you come to see me? Just a coincidence, I'm afraid. Eisengraf will be passing through here soon, so this station's operating under heightened security. Oh, right! Still, I'm happy to see you again. It's been, what, two months since I last saw you? <laughs> she really is attached to Captain Claire. Yeah, almost like sisters. Hard to believe both of them are Ironbloods. At any rate, good day everyone. Let me thank you again for your help during the recent crisis in Pame Dollar. Oh, I know, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh... what I say about the last location at? I forgot completely. Uh, Heimdaller is the one that I was talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I, I, I mentioned something about a city right beforehand, and I completely forgot it. I'm, I apologize. Anyway, it's been a lot to rec it's been a lot to record throughout the day, so I apologize. And granted, I have to re-record this. I completely forgot what I was even thinking of at the time. Don't worry about it. We simply did our duty as citizens of the Empire. Oh yeah, I was talking about Toa. And how she performed valiantly in making sure that people were able to evacuate in town. I, why did I say Berea Heart? I meant Heimdaller. It all happened in Heimdaller. Remember the terrorist attack? And uh, Toll was able to coordinate the escape route for all the civilians there in order to make sure they'll be, uh, they'll be uh, able to escape in proper shelter away from the danger. More importantly, what's the meaning of all this extra security? What is this Eisengraf you mentioned? As in Iron Count, right? You'll see what I mean soon enough. 
Special Express train will momentarily be passing by Platform 1. This train will be passing through at high speed, so travelers on the platform are advised to exercise caution. Special Express train? It couldn't be. Right in time. This Toa, and this Prince Oliver. How is the Hazencraft? Come to think of it, I heard rumors of a special crimson train. It's supposedly reserved for use by the members of the Imperial government. I've been on it before, it's really fast. It's pretty fancy inside too. Hazencraft, or the Iron Count in the common parlance, was so t uh, titled in honor of Chancellor Osborne himself. Well, I do hear him called the Iron the Blood Chancellor all the time, so I can understand the Iron part. Isn't the Chancellor a commoner by birth? He is indeed. However, he was granted the title of Count by His Majesty when he was made Chancellor 11 years ago. Supposedly, that's what led to the train being given the name shortly thereafter. I see. I doubt he of all people sees any worth in titles of peerage. Reen? Yeah? Is something bothering you? Your attention seems elsewhere. Still feeling tired after yesterday? No, not really. I just happened to catch a glance of Toa and Prince Halbert in the trains that passed by. Wow, I'm surprised you could even make them out. Must have a hawk's eye to be able to see what ooh, uh, them with the Isengraf wished them by so quickly. Nah, it's probably just coincidence. It was more than just a glance, though. I could see them clearly in detail. What was that just now? Hmm? Well, as long as you're not feeling unwell. I am gonna know something's up. I'd like to thank all passengers for their cooperation with today's security measures. Transcontinental Railway Service bound for Crossbell State, now arriving on Platform 2. Here it comes. Yeah, let's say we didn't have to wait long after all. Comes out class. Hey, there they are. Green over here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Saved you some seeds. My voice for them are gonna be real bad. I haven't done voice for them in forever. <laughs> excuse if you excuse us, Captain. See you later, Claire. Of course, have a safe trip, everyone. Whoa, ho, ho. here's that class looking, babe. Yeah, should you stay on train? <laughs> Structor Sarah, here you are. I missed her, I'm not even kidding you. Structor Sarah is freaking amazing. We received war from Squad 8. No user movements have been detected near the Twin Dragon Bridge. Let's receive word from Squad 21. Report on high speed armored cars on position. Understood. Remain vigilant until the Eisengraf has finished passing through. Once we reach Crossbow City, have all squads switch to Phase D. Yes, ma'am. Are you sure the Imperial Liberation Front will show themselves? They will, I'm certain of it. 
I don't see why they wouldn't. And the fact that the epilogue that we played... The ep prologue? I think it was the prologue, the intro that we played in the very beginning, kind of shows that, yeah, something's gonna be happening over at the fortress. I see. Sounds like Group A had quite an eventful couple of days too. Yeah, I thought it would be kind of hard to believe you guys would seen ghosts of Leon Sandlot. That's ridiculous. I sure you weren't just hallucinating or something. Hmm, you can think whatever you like. Totally saw her, I swear. Well, ghosts don't know. There was definitely someone there beside us. Anyway, that's enough about ghosts and spirits for the time being. I'm more concerned about the affairs of the living, like where Tola and the Radiant Blade Master went. It's not like Duke KN is up to something too. It's not someone we can afford to take lightly. Do you run into anything like that in the Churai Special Economic Zone? Though I guess it makes sense, seeing as it's under direct control of the Imperial government, not noble. It seemed to recall it was our next eight years ago. Is that right? Yeah, the Empire stitched it out nice and neat, without much opposition. Now it's prospering as a state economic zone of coast. Seems like a pretty lively place. The revenue generated from taxes there goes directly to the Imperial government out coffers, instead of the pockets of the nobility. It's hardly a mystery why the reformers think it so highly of it. With that aside, I'm a little concerned about the upcoming trade conference in Crossbell. Same goes for the Imperial Liberation Front. They've been awfully quiet since the show they put, uh, since the show they put on last month. Now that you mention it, it does seem rather suspicious. Is it related somehow to why we're going to Guerrilla Fortress? Well, it's the main reason, but it's not entirely unrelated. I'll let you look forward to finding out about it when you get the fortress itself. Anyway, how many of you have passed through Guerrilla Fortress by train before? Hmm, I see. Yes, us, huh? I can't wait to see everyone's first reaction. True. <laughs> oh yeah, Milliam should definitely would have traveled there, but I'm pretty certain. I think, I think if he had to cross the actual border to get into uh, Erebonia, or to get into the Empire, pretty sure. Um, Elliot's dad is there, so I'm pretty sure he'll visit it once or twice, I'm pretty certain. But I'm not sure about uh, Crow. Not sure why he was there. Probably was there for... I'm pretty sure you mentioned that. Anyway. Hmm? What's that? Um, well, seen in photographs at least. Camera can't really capture how ridiculous it is. Yep, yep. It's supposed to be this macho gateway of the Empire, but it just seems like it's trying way too hard. What's that supposed to mean? Gateway to the Empire and one of the largest military bases in the country. Look forward to the chance of seeing a person then. train carrying Class 7 continued its ride on Transcontinental Line, heading toward the east. It passed through the Twin Dragon Bridge, a cruising provincial army base, and several stations later. It was finally time to pass through Gorelia Fortress, which loomed large on a border with the Crossbow State. Ministry of Railway wishes to thank our passengers for the patronage. Next stop is Gorelia Fortress. Cavalier Fortress. This train will stop for five minutes. Please be aware that only authorized personnel may disembark at the station. Be advised that all orbital photography is strictly prohibited within the fortress and is punishable by imperial law. Any attempt at unauthorized recording may result in a confiscation of your equipment or detention by the authorities. That's a little ominous. Wow, that was kind of... It sounded pretty severe for a train announcement. While we are passing through a military facility, I don't think they're being unreasonable. Do you think that's the issue here? I'm not you haven't. Oh, for a moment. Yeah, that's my new mind. I'm not you uh, th having that to be the first thing to foreign visitors here gives a very good impression of the country. Oh, we we're finally here. What a deuce name is that? That is the fortress. A giant meaty iron wall. That's all it is. It's 
scales just. This is a guerrilla fortress? Style places built from iron and concrete? How much money has the army dumped to building all this? Uh, yep, that was about as entertaining as I hoped. Not that I'm surprised. I thought the same thing when I first saw it. From the crossbow side, all you can see is a cliff though. <gasps> oh yeah! Isn't Fee from Crossbow? I'm pretty certain she is. Yeah, but those two railway guns still poke out through it. Hey instructor, what you bring us out here to show us? What else? We here so you can see the true essence of what makes an army. What compromises the military comprises the military strength and forms foundation. And what other and what other place in the Empire has that in display and it's cl as clear as here. So I guess more like a visual excursion rather than anything. and Tresme mostly. You see a lot of them around here. Keeping a fortress this size and uh, up and running is a full-time job for more than just the military people. So it seems. It's almost like its own town here. On the other side of the fortress, it's more or less straight shot to the Crosby City, right? To think that such a bustling center of trade is so close to a massive military facility like this. Yeah, Crosby City is only about 30 minutes away by train. From the top of the fortress, you can even see the skyscraper where the trade conference is going to take place. I see you've arrived. Oh. Instructor Nightheart! Good morning, Instru uh, Major Nightheart. Instructor Ballastine of Thor's Military Academy, homeroom teacher for Class 7. Reporting the arrival of myself and all students in my care. Acknowledging your arrival at 11.30 hours. Welcome to Gorelia Fortress. In addition to my teaching duties at the Academy, I hold the rank of Major in the Imperial Army's 4th Armored Division. I'll be acting as your guide, as well as your instructor for special lectures during your time here at the Fortress. Now, if you'll follow me... including today of two days remaining in this month's field study. However, we won't be assigning you any tasks during this time. Instead, you'll be participating in a series of special lectures and a field trip. A field trip here? So what exactly does that entail, Instructor? At 1400 hours today, a Joe Miltor exercise will be taking place at Gorilla Proving Ground. The 4th and 5th Armored Divisions will both be participating. You'll be observing it. We're going to watch a military exercise? The 4th Armored Division, huh? The 4th Armored Division is led by none other than Elliot's dad, Lieutenant General Olaf Craig. By all accounts, it's one of the strongest armored divisions in the Imperial Army. And you know our friend Major here is the most promising young member? It's true. <coughs> Moving on. As I said, you will only be observing this exercise, not actively participating. Imagine it has some of you feeling rather relieved, doesn't it? It does sound like a pretty easy ass assessment after all. But we'll be seeing how many of you feel the same after experiencing it for yourselves. That's all for me. It's currently long 50 hours. Lunch is being prepared for you in the mess hall. I advise you all eat. Your field trip isn't something to be taken, uh, undertaken on an empty stomach. They're gonna be keeping us on the clock here, aren't they? So, this food. We have salty corned beef and I think I'm getting a hint of peas from this soup. Could use this bread as a lethal projectile. 
I do think it would be, wouldn't hurt to use a few more herbs, or flavors in general. Calling this edible would be generous. There were plenty of rumors about the food that's serving the Pillar Army, but I wouldn't have guessed that would be true. Huh. I didn't think the food that served in the mess hall that Xander gave was all that bad, though. I do you think it would kill them to serve something a little more appetizing? It's exactly the same thing I served when I came here with my class last year. Oh, that's how Crow got here. Okay. Alright. I completely forgot about that. I played through this part, but I forgot it. It's towards the end. Probably from the same batch, too, but look of it. Ah, really brings back memories. I was pretty surprised the first time my dad brought me here to eat, too. Huh, you guys really think it's a bad? Well, it brings back memories for me, too. It does? Huh. I do wonder- I want to know all about Sarah, dude. I want to know everything about Sarah. She really interests me. I really like her. I really, really like her. Alright? At least there's some cheese and apple. I guess, yeah. Food served in the army makes use of common ingredients that I use to preserve and store. Ingredients used to make all the food for your trays can be easily stockpiled in large quantities. So even if a war were to break out, a meal like this would still be served without any trouble. So that explains it. I see. So the army serves simple food all the time to avoid decreasing morale from wartime rationing? Well, not all the time. However, one can think of this food as a philosophical statement from the con continent's strongest army. In the sense that it suggests that soldiers should live and work each day as though war effort be, uh, depend on them. Every day? They should all just stands uh, just as ten They should be just as sense during time of peace as during time of war. It's a bit too much mind over matter idealism for my taste, but it's worth being aware of. And to throw a different perspective in the mix here, the food of provincial army serve is actually pretty good. Good enough that you can't help but wonder how they cope if the actual war were to break out. Hmm. Well, it's not like serving good food means you have a crappy army. Her neighbor Libero serves up some pretty tasty food in the army. Libero's army is fairly elite. Probably because the threat of being neighbor to the Empire keeps them tense. I feel a little conflicted here to say that. Kind of, yeah, this is a little bit conflicting. I'm not sure if she is for the side that we're on right now, or she's for a liberal side. I don't know, my 100% remember. I she mentioned where she was from. She mentioned being orphaned someplace, but I don't 100% remember which town that was. I'm gonna have to look that up again. I don't know. I don't know. As somebody who's brand new to the series, it's gonna take me a while to fully ingrain everything about all these characters, every every little detail. But it'll take me a while. It'll take me a while, but I'll get to it. So I'm pretty sure the other games will reference it in the future. While these things are all about finding a good balance, variety is the spice of life, you know. If you eat nothing but dull, bland food all the time, well, you know what to say. You are what you eat. I could do with a few of you pleasing remarks in my diet, Instructor Valentine. Haha! <laughs> she is taking time anytime. She is taking advantage anytime she can to throw pochets at him. They really don't like each other, do they? I feel like there's a thing between go going on between them. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, as you heard, there's going to be a military exercise as a proving ground at 2 in the, ap at two in the afternoon today. And by the thing, I don't mean like a romantic thing exactly, but, you know, just in general. So 30 right now, so you have an hour to do whatever you like. I make an announcement half an hour before, so you should listen to it and do whatever it tells you. Understood. So when you say whatever you like, does that mean we can tour the fortress? Of course. Welcome to roam around as long as you don't poke your nose to any restricted areas. Go ahead and explore. There's plenty worth seeing here, like the command center. Though if you're feeling a little tired from your field study for now, you're welcome to rest in your rooms. You'd be ashamed to waste such a valuable opportunity. I suppose it would at least get a general view of fortress. And we finally get to the point where I can finally stop playing through this. We finally get to the point where I catch up on all the... Oh, I saved just in case, just out of habit, but finally catch up to the recording session where I can finally take a little break. Ah, <sighs> Man! Oh my god, y'all. Re-recording things is the worst, especially when you record for three hours, three and a half hours. Oh boy. It's a lot to handle, it's a lot to bear down all together at once. But, it was worth it, I want to thank you so much for joining us here for this re-recording session, I guess you could say. This is great, this is fun, hopefully everything is saved, if it doesn't I might be pissed. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this, and see if I can find time to take a break and relax at a certain point, but nevertheless I hope you right. enjoyed it. My name is Tamriel, and Reno says right, uh-huh. Like, subscribe, and subscribe, I'll see you all next episode, or whatever I make, and hopefully don't have to re-record again. 
Ah, so much, so many hours wasted, but it's worth it. It's worth it for the series, for y'all, for the channel, and because the next game is coming out pretty soon. So we gotta finish this ASAP. ASAP. The next game is coming out on the 14th of February. On Valentine's Day, actually. Wait, is it 14th? Maybe it's 16th. I don't know. Maybe we might actually do something on Valentine's Day, by the way. I'm not sure 100% what, but we'll probably do something. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye.